Alrighty y'all, it's kind of windy out here today, but I am out and out in my favorite oasis out here in Texas, of course. And we are with Sergeant D. Sergeant D has brought a few new toys for me today. I'll show you what those are in just a minute. But, you know, we didn't have any very many targets, so I got this old backpack here full of my magazines. So we're going to shoot that up and see what's going. We're going to start off with a simple little 22. And then uh, I've got another twin too. So I'm gonna load this up and let him take a few shots of this backpack. And we're gonna see how many bullets this backpack can take. We know it's not bulletproof. All right. All right, y'all, we're out here with Sergeant D. He's gonna take a few shots of this backpack here. And, and then we're gonna move up from there. So he's got the twin two LR up in the Ruger. Whenever you're ready, Sergeant D, show us how it's done. Cowboys didn't have it easy back then, did they? All right, y'all. Now we're gonna take it up a notch, and Sergeant T is gonna come over here and run off this 380 bodyguard at the backpack. It's ready to go. We're gonna, Sergeant D, you brought something bigger. Yeah. We, we, oh, all right. Leave it to Sergeant D to bring the big guns out. All right. So we're gonna go. We're gonna get the forklift and bring out these big guns real quick. Uh, not to tell you what's in there, but okay. So Sergeant D, what did you bring for me today? Uh, just a couple of toys. A couple of toys. Well, we already saw the little bitty one. What else you got in this thing? Holy smokes! Tell me about this grip. This is a Grim Reaper Edition Desert Eagle. It came like this from the factory. Huh? It's got a distressed uh, white gray Cerakote finish on it. These grips came with it. These are Hogue aluminum grips that are custom etched from the factory. Or from Hogue, actually. And then Reaper on the other side. And, and, and this is your appendix carry? That's what explains it all? Yeah, I sometimes the ankle carry it, you know, for backup. You do have some thick ankles. There you go. And 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 this is the Smith and Wesson 500 Magnum. Okay. And this is actually more powerful than the uh, Desert Eagle and the 50 Action Express. All right. Now I've never shot either one of these. All right, y'all. So I've never shot either one of these or any pistols this big. 45 is about the biggest I've been. And looking at the uh, the bullets here, this is a little bit bigger. So. I'm going to uh, go say a few prayers and uh, we're going to shoot this backpack and then later on we're going to see what happens with the backpack. Alrighty y'all, so we just fired off this Desert Eagle. That was a pretty... It was fun. Alright. Let me show you this real quick. This is the bullet for the Desert Eagle. This is the bullet for the 500 Smith & Wesson. And nine millimeter real quick, just to get you an idea. So you got your nine, your Desert Eagle, and your 500. If you were to accidentally try to load up your 500 in your Desert Eagle, that's how much sticks out. Just the tip. All right. All right, so let's tear into this backpack and see what we got. And uh, y'all, in your comments, 
tell Sergeant D thank you because he's bringing out toys that I don't have and I can't buy. And uh, and if anybody else wants to bring out toys, I like to play with toys. Not that kind of toy. <laughs> this kind of toy. All right, all right. So y'all tell Sergeant D how much you appreciate letting him come out or letting me come out and shoot his toys. And uh, I do feel a little bit of numbness in the arm. So we're gonna cut to the backpack and see what's going on over there. Alrighty y'all, so what do we have coming out of this backpack? We have, actually we don't, we have less than I thought we would have. We have one, two, three, maybe only three of these bullets got did not get stopped by this backpack. And actually it's a, what? That can't be right, that can't be right. I know I didn't miss many times. See, look, I hit it a bunch of times. I hit it a bunch of times. What I hit it with, I don't know. Let's go back over the table here and open this thing up and see what we got. So here we are, we got the bag on the table. So I can uh, see what we're doing. That Desert Eagle took the life on me, I'm gonna sit down. All right, so we shot this with 22, 380, nine, Desert Eagle and a 500. And this is a, any kid with a, you know, just one book in here. So book here got grazed. My magazines are grazed, but it's that for the top one, I'm guessing. Oh, you know what? Okay, I did have a piece of wood back here, but that doesn't look like it was even hit. Let's start with the back. Back magazine. Has one hole in it. All right. The next magazine has the same hole and same hole and same hole. Wait, so how far do we have to go through this? So, all right. There's some damage. There's some damage. There's a little bit of damage there. So somewhere. Magazine, this backpack's gonna have, have, have bolts in it now. So this is surprising actually to me because I thought we would get a lot more penetration than this. So this is kind of coming out the way I had it in here and my computer book got all destroyed. So I've got bullets in here, that's pretty cool. had some, all right, we'll go through that here in a second. So we had the, see that? Guns and ammo. And you know, the whole, the first one had some pretty clean shots. The book, the book didn't take all of it, but it did stop quite a bit. So uh, I'm gonna make sure my kids carry the books. They should have brought their computers. Next time, next time I'm gonna bring my kids computers. They, they want new computers anyways. Now you know as soon as they watch this video, they're gonna say, here dad, here's my computer. <laughs> Buy me a new one. So these magazines, most of them are stopped by the book. Actually the book slowed them down and the next magazine's paper and so forth stopped them. Now, I don't think I wanna like put myself between a bullet, a back, you know, put a backpack between me and a bullet. But I guess if that's all I had, I, I'd be doing it. I'm, I'm surprised. The, uh, hmm. I wonder, let me see how many bullets I can find out here. All right. Well, there's my, magazines and here's the uh the bullets that we retrieved now, there's a few more in the book and so forth but looks like the 50 actually got stopped by this backpack all right that's enough recording let's go have some fun actually i found out it was the 500 that got stopped because i didn't quite hit the target so the 500 got stopped in the bag because it hit the dirt first all right 
Híjole la chica. Híjole la chica.